We'll guide you through how to download and install BlueStacks on Windows. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, go to the description or the pinned comment on this video and we've got a link straight to BlueStacks. That is an affiliate link which supports the channel at no extra cost to you and it takes you straight to BlueStacks. And you can choose if you want BlueStacks 10 or BlueStacks 5. Personally, I'm going to go for BlueStacks 5, so I'll click there. You can do the same. Overall, these are pretty similar. I just prefer BlueStacks 5 as it gives you a bit more customizability, I guess. And so once it's downloaded, you can then close off your browser and you need to open up your file explorer and go to your downloads folder. Head over to the left and click on downloads and then here is BlueStacks, so go and double click on it. You'll go and get a Windows security pop-up, which I can't record, and then you'll go and get this pop-up here and yours will probably go and say install, mine says update, as I have had BlueStacks before on this computer. It will then go and start the download process, so just wait. After it's finished downloading, it will say checking system requirements and it will then start extracting files. After it's finished installing, it should automatically open. Now I've had this pop up here, so what I'll do is just press continue and you may go and get a pop up, just press yes, it's like a security pop up and it should go and fix the problem and you'll need to go and restart your computer, so let's go and do that now. Once you've restarted your computer, we can now go and run BlueStacks again. And actually we did install BlueStacks 10 and 5, so you can try both out, but for now I'm gonna go and run BlueStacks 5 now I've gone and had this pop up again, so I will go and press continue and you'll get another Windows Cootie pop up and it then does say, please wait while BlueStacks performs the necessary actions. But because we've already restarted our computer, you shouldn't need to do this. You can try doing it, but what I'd first recommend you do is close off that, come to BlueStacks and right click on it and click on run as administrator. You'll get another Windows Cootie pop up and then BlueStacks should run fine. If it still isn't working, then you can try doing that restart again to go and see if it fixes the problem. But then here we are in BlueStacks. We've now successfully downloaded and installed it. So what you could do is go into the app center and you can go and start getting some apps. As you can see, there are loads to go and choose from. To go and get one, all you need to do is go and click on it. You may need to go and sign into your Google account, which I'll do now. After signing in, you will then be taken to this page here and you can go and click on install. And this is actually from the Play Store itself and it's now going to start the download process. So just wait. Once it's finished, you can go and click on play. And if we go and click on the home button, either in the bottom right or the top left, it will then go and start appearing here once it's downloaded as well. If you guys found this useful, then please leave a like.